All right, so here's our cathode ray tube. It's a pretty simplified version of what actually happens in real life, but let's review the main parts of it. On <clears throat> the, well, I guess the first thing to remember is that the entire thing is sealed within a vacuum, which means there's absolutely no air particles. On the far left side, we have a cathode, which is going to be connected to the negative outlet of a high energy or a high voltage source. Then we have a anode, which is connected to the positive end of it. Now, what that does for us is that um, by being connected to that negative side of that high voltage energy source, it's going to allow electrons to come off of the cathode and flow towards the anode, right? Because we know that negatively charged things are attracted to positively charged things. Now, the anode has a hole in the middle of it, which allows those electrons that are coming off of the cathode to flow through it in a beam that we officially call a cathode ray. All right. Now, in this simulation, we are going to be looking at the behavior of that cathode ray as it passes through some positively and negatively charged plates. OK, and there's going to be some follow up questions um, that kind of help you pretend like you were J.J. Thompson trying to figure out what's going on here. So first, I'm going to click turn on and we're going to look at the particles version of it. So notice that those gray spheres represent electrons, right? They're coming from that cathode. As they're going towards the anode, some of them are able to go through the hole. And you can notice that their behavior changes as they pass through those charged plates. If I were to put a display beam version on, it kind of sets it up as if it's a laser. If these charged plates were not here, for example, if I set them to none, notice that that beam goes straight through without any change. But as soon as I par as soon as I put a charge positively on top, negatively on bottom, notice what happens to that beam. Then let's do it the other way, where I flip the charges. So now positive is on bottom and negative is on top. And what do you notice about the beam? 